prickly pear has a couple of neat adaptations for pollination. And right down in here is this beautiful metallic green native bee who's working around in the stamens of the plant. The prickly pear wants to put pollen on this bee in as many places as possible. And so it will actually close the stamens in around the bee to try to touch it in as many different spots as it can. So you can kind of see the flower tightening in as this bee digs its way through, eating the nectar. The bee is after the nectar, but is cover getting covered with the pollen. You can see little yellow spots all over the hairs on its head and its back. Now we always think of bees as the orange and black honey bees, but this metallic green bee is a native of Colorado. And they're kind of hard to find sometimes. He is diving in there pretty far. Now you can see the back legs of this bee are loaded with pollen. He's actually collecting the pollen, or she, I should say, because almost all the workers, uh, all the workers in the bee world are females that come out of the hives and look at those pollen baskets on her legs are just loaded with the yellow pollen. It's going to be a full load to take back to the hive. We'll see on this other flower if we can recreate the movement of the stamens by teasing it with just a little pine needle. Let's see if you can notice very slowly them twisting into the center of the flower. You can see a few towards the bottom of the screen that are twisting nicely. The whole thing's taking on a bit of a swirled shape. So it's not fast like a Venus flytrap or they don't eat the bug like a pitcher plant, but they do interact with the pollinator and are animated enough with movement that we can see.